Hello, my name is Graham Van Brunt and I'm an electrical engineer. I'm also the founder and lead instructor for PSPT, which stands for Power Systems Protection Training. This course is about per unit analysis of power systems. Over the years, and even back as far as when I was a student, uh, there was always a cavalier approach to introducing uh, per unit analysis. Uh, I guess they thought it was uh, such a simple process that one would just naturally understand the uh, various idiosyncrasies of it. However, uh, it is involved with a lot more, which uh, you will see if you uh, take the course, but also if you go through this introduction, you'll see the various components that are part of this course. So, without further ado, I will give you an introduction to the course, and then if you would like to take a course, feel free to sign up, and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. This course starts out with a, a broad uh, reference to what power system analysis is, and it deals with the difficulties that are out there and the three main difficulties in dealing with power system analysis in today's world is the fact that most systems, if not all systems, are three-phase. Uh, in other words, the voltages and currents are three-phase, uh, as well as usually the impedance. Uh, transformers are introduced into the system and they uh, produce a, uh, some complexity into the analysis process, especially the ratios. Uh, of those transformers as you move from one level to the next level and ultimately to the load you're crossing over the boundaries of transformer ratios and this presents a, a difficulty at least in, in performing the analysis. The second difficulty with transformers is the fact that they have several configurations. Uh, they could be Y to Delta, Delta to Y, Y to Y, delta to delta, Y to zigzag, center tapped with moving uh, tap changers and everything else in between. This course will deal with these uh, three difficulties in a very concise manner and per unit certainly the solutions at least are uh, per phase analysis and per unit normalization. Okay, the two-step operation that we have just described using per-phase analysis and per-unit analysis allows us to reduce a very complex system such as uh, exampled here in, in this slide, which is a generator feeding uh, a couple of loads through four transformers and, and a couple of lines, and it's three-phase and there's various voltage levels uh, would be very difficult to, uh, but not impossible to analyze. Per unit and per phase analysis allows us to change this circuit from what was just previously up there to something like this, which is a heck of a lot easier to analyze. Once uh, you have analyzed the situation or, or, or calculated, say, the currents and the voltages, you can very easily work backwards uh, through the uh, per unit and per phase system to come up with your three phase values. Even though the course is called per unit analysis and the main body of the course is uh, working with and developing per unit analysis. However, per phase analysis is instrumental in the first steps of doing a per unit analysis. And it is a fundamental uh, uh, process in the power system analysis. Uh, so I thought it would be worthwhile to tack this on the front end of the course. And it not only does it uh, review a per phase analysis, it also uh, establishes a step by step procedure that you can follow and ultimately get to where you are and then uh, reverse it if you want to come out of it again and it makes it a lot easier to uh, to understand and then uh, proceed with the per unit analysis. In this course you'll find the 
uh, various slides and the graphics and uh, and just the overall lay of the course uh, is very detailed, very specific. Uh, the slides themselves and the presentation are uh, animated in such a way that you can follow the process quite easily. The Each slide I have spent hours and hours developing uh, this course and the slides so that they come across crisp, clean, and there's no doubt about what we're trying to um, introduce during this course. During the process, uh, I also uh, make an effort to not presume that everybody can recall uh, the formulas and the theories that are uh, used in the basis of development of the different processes in per-unit analysis and per-phase analysis. For example, uh, when we come to the point where we're talking about uh, impedance conversion, in other words, converting what you have to do in per-unit analysis, converting delta impedances to uh, y impedances, uh, there's a formula for that. And rather, just, rather than just assume people understand it, I walk through it with a very simple graphic, spending maybe a couple of minutes just to recall what the formulas are without having to rely on your memory for it, which in my case, my memory's very poor. So uh, I, I appreciate the fact that there is a very quick review on some of this theory as well. Throughout uh, the course, as we uh, delve into the various aspects of it, such as uh, per phase analysis. Uh, it has many examples which demonstrate the process which we are trying to come across with. For example, uh, the circuits are laid out at the beginning, the various components are described in uh, very intricate detail with crisp, clean lines, and there's no doubt about. Uh, what we're looking at and what we need to analyze. The heart of the course is ultimately the normalization process where we set up a step-by-step -step procedure for getting into calculating the per unit impedance of the various uh, components of a circuit. Whether we get to the development stages where we are calculating the per unit values or uh, as step number five indicates we're backing out of the uh, per unit process then uh, we have a, a formula or a step-by-step -step procedure which we can follow and I refer to it continually through the course so that we can see at what stage we are at each and every step. And as we describe those steps, this is an example of what you might see. There is a graphic that describes in very plain detail what is involved with that step of the process. I then deal with uh, the various transformer or at least the basic transformer configurations and what their equivalent uh, per unit impedance circuit looks like and how it's dealt with. For example, you can see here uh, how we deal with the Y to Y transformer. I deal with uh, delta to delta transformers and we also deal with Y to delta transformers which are have a little bit of a more unique uh, process to them than the other two configurations. The manufacturers uh, sometimes release their equipment into the system and they quote their parameters in terms of per unit or percent impedance and sometimes uh, just how it's connected and used in the system is a bit of a mystery. I try to reduce or remove this uh, mysticism by using several examples and uh, working through what might be termed as uh, the quotation from the manufacturers in terms of percent and per unit impedance and how it relates to the course material that I'm 
presenting. And ultimately, uh, that leads to the need for uh, base conversion. And base conversion is dealt with uh, quite often, and there are several examples in the process of this course where I demonstrate how the base impedance is converted from what the manufacturer might be quoting to what we need to use in our uh, our own uh, uh, analysis of the equipment that's in our system. I also try to refer to three phase uh, 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 per unit systems and I have several examples of what the uh, three phase system would look like in terms of per unit and I try to maintain a consistent look and feel for how I treat and deal with uh, the normalization process, whether it's single phase or three phase uh, in this situation. That pretty much covers uh, what you will find in the course on per unit analysis. Once you tap into the website, uh, which I call PSPT Academy, you'll find the course there and I'm going to be adding uh, courses as time goes on. Uh, right now the uh, Academy is in its infancy and I'm, I'm just uploading and, and developing the courses uh, as we speak. I wanted to give you a, a quick preview of what is coming and what you will find there uh, in uh, the very near future. I'm going to have a uh, very short course on symmetrical components and I take the symmetrical components and deal with it much in the same fashion that I dealt with per unit analysis. You'll find the graphics and the, and the slides very crisp, clean, very detailed, very easy to understand. I will be pointing out all of the features that we need to uh, develop uh, and, and analyze using symmetrical components. And there should be no doubt as to where we are and where we're going to ultimately be when we uh, develop or when you see this course. This course will then lead into a, a third course, which I intend to upload uh, right after the symmetrical components, because symmetrical components and per unit impedance are fundamental uh, for developing uh, the fundamental short circuit analysis equations that we uh, will see in this course that I'm going to bring. Uh, in this course I deal with the various uh, faults that are on the system, the phase to ground or single line to ground faults, the equivalent circuits of those uh, various uh, faults that are out there, phase to phase, phase to ground, phase to phase and ground, and you'll see all of that in the courses that are ultimately coming. Also, if you're looking for links to uh, where you can find these courses, uh, the uh, web addresses are here in this slide. And if you go to directly to the PSPT Academy, the courses will be found directly there. Or if you go to my website, which is the PSPT website, there is a link to the PSPT Academy from that website. 